All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the guide on how to use OBS to enhance your video lectures. Uh, this section is going to cover uh, how to display a PowerPoint and only a PowerPoint instead of displaying your entire desktop. So I actually didn't know about this function until it was pointed out to me by someone on Reddit, um, the user HistProfDave. Um, so uh, I wanna thank him uh, or her for pointing this out. Um, you know, I never knew PowerPoint had this ability, but I think this is a great tool, um, especially if you want to show something on a PowerPoint, but you don't want to take up your entire desktop. Okay, so I'll show you a little bit about what I mean. Um, so on your screen right now, you should be able to see two desktops, right? You see my OBS control panel and you see my main desktop where I have a PowerPoint open. Now, if I wanted to display something, if I want to capture uh, something uh, like a PowerPoint for my students, you know, typically I, I, I click here, right? And it the PowerPoint takes up the entire screen and suddenly I can no longer do anything else on this other screen, right? It's, uh, it's only dedicated to a PowerPoint. And there might be instances where I want to uh, navigate to another browser or maybe I want to navigate to something else and, um, and but because of the PowerPoint, there's no way for me to do that. So how can we display a PowerPoint for a lecture and yet not take up all of this desktop space? Um, so let me show you something uh, that uh, HistProf Dave um, showed me. Okay, so the way to do this is first, in your PowerPoint, you're gonna go up to Slideshow up here on the tab, you're gonna click that, and then you're gonna, cli uh, you're gonna click on Set Up Slideshow, okay? And then in show type, there's three options here. You're gonna select this one, which says browsed by an individual in parentheses window. So we're gonna click that one and then we're gonna click okay. And so now if I want to display this PowerPoint as a presentation, as you can see, it's now in this presentation form, but it doesn't consume my entire monitor or my entire desktop, right? I can still navigate to the start, I can navigate uh, you know, I can click on a calculator if I need that. So um, all my, all my, uh, all the things I want to access on my desktop is still there. Okay, so from this point, how do we capture in our video lecture just this PowerPoint and not the entire desktop? Let's go over to our OBS control panel. We're gonna go down to our sources section. We're gonna click on this plus icon. And then we're gonna choose this option that says window capture. So we're gonna click that. We'll give it a name. Uh, for this one, I'll say, uh, I'll call it PowerPoint. Then I'll click okay. All right. And then in this first window uh, dropdown menu, you're gonna click, uh, you're gonna select this uh, PowerPoint option. So your dropdown menu might have different things, but you wanna look for the option that um, pulls up the PowerPoint presentation, the one that's right over here, this thing that we just put into view. Then uh, under window match priority, you wanna select match title, otherwise find window of same type. So I believe by selecting this option, um, you're guaranteed to always be picking up a PowerPoint window, okay? Um, even if the name changes. So you're gonna choose this option and then you're gonna click okay. Now, as you can see, uh, I have now captured only the PowerPoint, right? So if you look at the preview pane of the OBS control panel here, you can see that it's fully displaying my PowerPoint, but if we go over to the desktop over here, look, I can still, um, I can still access different things on my uh, second desktop. You know, if I you know, wanted to open up something here, um, sorry, my computer's a little slow. So, you know, this I can still access, I can still click on things. And even if it's blocking the PowerPoint presentation, it doesn't look that way over here on the control panel. So this is something I think that's really helpful if you want to conserve real estate space in terms of, uh, um, you know, your your monitor or your desktop, okay? Um, so give this, give this uh, functionality a, a, a try. I think this is something that is really beneficial, especially if you don't have that much desktop space to spare. All right, thank you.